finally, one of the season's most anticipated Grand Prix weekends has arrived. Sadly, FP1 in Las Vegas ended a little more than eight minutes in. Carlos Sainz, cruising along the Las Vegas Strip, suffered a major issue. His dashboard instructing him to shut down, and his Ferrari grinding to a halt close to the Eiffel Tower. No, not that one. The culprit was a loose manhole cover, which damaged the car's chassis, engine, and battery. Esteban Ocon's Alpine was damaged in a similar incident. The race stewards decided not to continue the session for safety reasons. Once all the covers along the 6.2 kilometer street circuit were checked and double checked, we finally got a chance to see the world's best drivers put pedal to the metal under the lights. And it was Charles Leclerc with the best lap of the day, a 1 minute 35, 2, 6, 5. There were plenty of new liveries on display. Williams have put Welcome to Las Vegas on the car, while Alfa Romeo have gone for playing cards motif, with Valtteri Bottas also sporting a lucky four-leaf clover on his race suit. Ferrari have added dashes of white to their usual red skins, a homage to their 70s colour scheme. The Alfa Tauri seem to be sporting zebra stripes, and Red Bull unveiled the third iteration of their fan design paint jobs, complete with roulette wheel rims and neon playing cards. Too many new helmet designs to mention them all, but a couple worth noting, Alex Albon's lid paints a dreamy Las Vegas landscape, and Esteban Ocon has created a Deadpool mask replica in honour of Alpine's new co-owner, Ryan Reynolds. Turn 12 proved tricky for a few, Kevin Magnussen locking up and going deep, and Sergio Perez following suit soon after. Even 2023 champ Max Verstappen wasn't immune to the allure of the runoff. The Dutchman was pushing, as Leclerc could attest to. Yeah, Max is uh, racing already. Copy. George Russell went for an opposite lock drift at turn seven. Fernando Alonso smoked his tyres at turn five. And Aston Martin teammate Lance Stroll misjudged his braking point at turn 14. Alex Albon was another going long at 14, his Williams leaving a trail of sparks and burnt rubber. The narrower parts of the circuit proved to be the pinch points. Daniel Ricciardo getting close to seven-time world champion, Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, traffic. Was Hamilton done? Oh, come on. He should have done. Yep. He should have done. OK. The Briton, in turn, felt hindered on a fast lap by Sainz. The Scuderia engineers did a fantastic job to get the Spaniard's car ready for the session. However, he's been given a 10-place grid drop for Sunday's race, as there's no dispensation in the rules for the unfortunate circumstances that led to his SF23 needing those new parts, which exceed his season's allocation. So, after an extended 90 minutes FP2, the standings look like this. A Ferrari 1-2 with Leclerc won better than Sainz, and they were ahead of Alonso Perez, Bottas and Verstappen. Nico Hulkenberg in P7, then came Stroll, Hamilton and Albon. P11 for Lando Norris, who struggled with technical issues early doors. Then Russell in P12, followed by Magnussen, Piastri, Gasly, Ocon, Sonoda, Joe Guanyu, Ricardo, and Logan Sargent.